Enhanced loops uh, are extremely useful with arrays. Enhanced loops, also known as for each loops, provide a cleaner syntax to iterate through arrays. Let's look at how we can use for, a for each loop or enhanced loop to find the average of all the elements in an integer array. That integer, integer array is called nums, uh, and uh, it contains a list of five integers, one, three, five, seven, and nine. We also have an integer uh, a variable called sum, and we're initializing it with zero with the value zero. And sum is going to contain uh, the, the sum of each of these uh, uh, integers in the nums array. Now, how would we sum up all these integers? Well, from what you know, you'd probably write something like this. You'd probably write a for loop. Uh, we'd have a variable like i. Uh, we'd basically traverse through each uh, element in this array. So we'd uh, go into it uh, nums.length minus one times. So up till nums.length, and we'd increment that i variable. Now inside this body, we'd want to take sum, and we want to add to it the existing value right of sum, and we'd want to add to it uh, the corresponding, the ith element in nums. That's how we'd get the sum of all of the integers in a, in a, a num, in an integer array, like nums. Now, uh, this syntax is good, but it's prone to error and it's kind of long for such a simple task. There is a better way uh, with for each loops. Now, here's a for each loop. We can see that the index syntax differs uh, greatly, uh, particularly in within with what's in the parentheses uh, in this for loop declaration. Instead of declaring a variable that we increment uh, up to nums.length minus one times, we actually have a unique syntax. Now, how does that syntax work? Well, to begin with, we have uh, the word int. We have the data type of the array that we're going, we want to increment through, iterate through, excuse me. So since this is an int array, we put int. Now, I'm going to skip this num for a bit, and I'm going to go here. At the end, we put the name of the array we want to go through. Pretty simple. Now, in, in between, we put a couple of things. We put num. Now, num is just a variable name. Num could be any valid variable name in Java. It could be x, it could be y, uh, it could be n, it could be anything. But I chose to call it num because I, I saw it fitting. But this could be anything, just know it's a variable name. Now what, what I'm doing here is I'm basically saying that num represents nums i in this case. Right here, uh, in our traditional for loop, uh, we'd refer to the ith element with this bracket syntax. Instead, with a for each loop or an enhanced loop, we can basically just give a variable uh, like num and what we're telling Java is that we want to num to represent each element as we iterate through the nums array. So to recap, we have the for each loop, we have a standard for, uh, we have in parentheses the data type of the array, we have the name of our variable that we want to represent the ith element or each element as we go through the array a colon uh, which is kind of peculiar but uh, it's one of the first times we've seen this to to separate these two parts and then we have the name of the array inside let's look at how we use this variable num which is supposed to represent as i said each of the values as we iterate through so we have identical to our uh, traditional for loop sum and we are adding to it using the plus equals uh, shorthand notation that nums value it's the same as we're doing in the traditional for loop where we're adding the ith element of nums uh, using the variable i, but instead here we're getting rid of the need for an external variable and we're using uh, Java's enhanced loop to basically shorten uh, and simplify this task for us.
that's how we can get the sum of basically all the integers in an integer array simply. And I'd recommend in the APCS uh, FRQ section that you use uh, in an enhanced loop if you feel comfortable because uh, it makes it much less error prone for you. Just remember that you get the correct data type. Uh, you don't use a variable name that's a reserved keyword in Java like let's say final, right? Uh, or static, don't do that. Uh, and you remember that it's a colon and not an equal sign or something like that. Okay. Um, now, we have, of course, want to find the average, right? So we are going to print out, uh, we're casting sum to a double because we want uh, an average that's accurate with decimals, and we're dividing it by nums.length. So we know that uh, the sum is going to be 25.0, and nums.length is 5, so we have 5.0. That's our answer.